UK's attempt to make hypersonic flight a reality. Two workers at aerospace startup reaction engines are meticulously threading hundreds of ultra-thin metal tubes beneath a set of small bars. Once each module is complete, sheets of these tubes are arranged in overlapping spirals to form a system that can cool air from 1,000C to below zero faster than the blink of an eye. The Oxfordshire-based group is part of a UK-led military project aiming to make hypersonic flight a reality with the development of an unmanned air vehicle capable of flying at Mach 5, 5 times the speed of sound, or 3,800 miles per hour. The consortium, which includes Aero Engine Group Rolls-Royce, the Royal Air Force and the Defence Research Agency DSTL, hopes to fly a demonstrator vehicle as early as the middle of this decade. The UK needs to accelerate out of the blocks on this, said Mark Thomas. Chief Executive of Reaction Engines. The emphasis of the UK project was to build a low-cost and reusable hypersonic vehicle that came back ready to fly another mission, he added. The search for ever higher speeds has fascinated engineers, scientists and the general public for decades. In 1967 the US's X-15 hit a speed of 4,520 miles per hour, 6.7 times the speed of sound, when Major William Knight piloted the rocket-powered experimental aircraft. One of the stars alongside Tom Cruise in this year's box office hit Top Gun, Maverick is the hypersonic fighter jet SR-72 Dark Star. Although fictional, the plane evokes Lockheed Martin's SR-71, which in the 1960s set a speed record for a piloted jet aircraft of Mach 3.2, or 2,455 miles per hour. The US, Russia and China are developing missiles that can fly at hypersonic speeds, making them harder to track and intercept than conventional ballistic missiles. Graphics showing how a rooftop and engine cool air before it enters the gas turbine jet chamber to help achieve Mach 5 speeds. Separately, a clutch of startups are working on designs for supersonic, above 767 miles per hour, or Mach 1, the speed of sound, as well as hypersonic flight. In the case of the British effort, the aim is to develop a hypersonic engine that could potentially form the basis for a reconnaissance or combat aircraft. A potential model of the single-engine hypersonic concept vehicle, Concept V, which might be as large as a Hawk trainer jet, was unveiled by the partners at the Farnborough Air Show in July, 